So Sword Art Online is probably the anime that you would think would actually transfer into Roblox in an MMO styled game the easiest. And that's mostly because there's not really a game you actually need to design. The whole game is actually in the show. You just literally do exactly what was in the show, make it a game, put a decent combat system, some good visuals, and people would enjoy it, right? So with that being said, it is surprising in my opinion, and I feel like a lot of you guys would agree with this, that we don't have a massively successful Sword Art Online game on the platform. I know some Sword Art Online games have released, like Sword Burst 2, Sword Burst 3, but in my opinion, I've never actually played a Sword Art Online game that really felt like a good Sword Art Online game. Maybe they felt like a decent game overall, but it didn't feel like a real Sword Art Online game in my opinion. But I have a dream. I have a dream that we will actually get a quality Sword Art Online game. Maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, but hopefully one day. So as I'm sure a lot of you guys know, we actually have a pretty good looking Sword Art Online game that honestly does look like it has a pretty good amount of potential and it's supposed to release this summer. And as I'm sure a lot of you guys know, summer is about to end. School has started, but I'm assuming they mean seasonal summer and that's in September. I believe September 22nd or 20th or something. So they have about four weeks. And the game is trying to be basically a real MMO like Sword Art Online where it has like crafting, blacksmithing and things like that, I believe. And obviously also like all the normal fighting, mobs and everything. And overall it's trying to be the closest thing to an actual Sword Art Online game on the platform. And for a game like that with that much depth to it, to get that done in that short amount of time, it's just pretty unrealistic. I don't think people realize on Roblox how long real MMOs take to make. Even like Rail C's people are mad at for taking so long, but real MMOs off platform take like six, seven, eight years a lot of times to actually get made. And I actually made a video going over what this game had two or three months ago, and the owner has told me they did make some additions, and hopefully it does look a lot better. Because I'm not gonna lie to y'all, when I initially played the game a few months ago, I could tell it had pretty good potential, but even back then, I was actually asking if it was even supposed to release in 2024, much less summer. So if I'm being completely honest with you guys, I'm not surprised that mid video something some some crazy news some bad news actually dropped about the game and it's pretty much the same news you should probably expect to hear from most roblox anime games in big 2024 to be honest and that's that the game is actually getting delayed now if i'm being completely honest even though the game has really good potential to actually become a good game it's gonna need a lot more time in my opinion than it currently has put into it but currently it's like any game in development there's some good some bad and instead of me just explaining it to you let me actually hop in game and show you guys the new stuff and the stuff that I already talked about. Yo, I'm not even gonna lie. I swear this loading screen wasn't here last time. This hoe is high key clean. Now, last time I played, they didn't even have customization. You know what we're gonna do? We're actually gonna make a dream chaser. Oh, this is a dream chaser. This is the old dream chaser cut right here. But I ended up messing with the customization after this. And honestly, it's not that great. I'm not the biggest fan of customization. By that, I mean, I don't really care too much about it. But some of the things that were on the customization just looked a little weird, like a lot of the hairs, for example. And I know a lot of people do care a lot about customization so that's definitely something they should fix okay so this is also one to show you guys so it looks like your starter magic is going to be determined by the race you pick so spriggan you got illusion magic i don't think any of these or most of these magics are in the game yet but it will on release fire magic is salamander imp is dark magic wind magic is silk earth magic is known which makes sense Kate Sith, I don't know what the hell is that, but uh, maybe Cat Sith, Beast Magic, Water Magic is Undyne, Time Magic is Leprechaun. I'm not even gonna lie, I'm gonna have to go Leprechaun on release. I feel like Time Magic sounds tough. Music Magic, I didn't see that, Puka. I think he told me to go Fire Magic, the owner did, because apparently Fire Magic's actually in the game. But I'm pretty sure there wasn't these races in the actual Sword Art Online. I'm pretty sure this was in like Alfine or something, which is like a different game in the series, but not Sword Art Online. The game is called Grand Alfine, so I believe they did get a lot of concepts from that part of Sword Art Online. Like they also have the flight, for example. But overall, I like the concept of a race system, but in some ways I don't like how they executed this race system. For example, the race you pick just changes the color of your character completely if that's how it is in the show i guess i understand why they did it that way but i do believe it would be way better if it was just like certain accessories you get for example in one piece games if your race is fishman you might have a shark fin on your back etc i just feel like not giving the character the ability to actually change like their hair color and stuff is kind of dumb me personally but then we get into the game's tutorial which does do a pretty good job of being a tutorial but it really isn't engaging in my opinion and it could use some more work just being entertaining welcome to the ga training grounds here you learn about the basics of combat and movement to begin let's start with the basics of combat left mouse button to m1 or to crit try it out attacking a dummy m1 see i don't know why it says m2 to dummy when it's a uh, it's not even an m2 it's an r so i really like this thing they have they have a dash and attack it's like that oh i just clashed with him uh, and so they have dash attacks they also have jumping attacks which is that 
To start, you can press Q to dash. Dash in two directions will allow you to chain dash. Okay, chain dashing is a separate cooldown. Try it out using an L shape. How do y'all feel about this? This is definitely unique. I have not seen that before. So you can basically dash two directions if you want, but it has a different cooldown, it sounds like. Okay, we're gonna try to wall run. Oh, oh, I'm hitting with it. How do y'all feel about wall running? I feel like there's really no reason not to have it. Like, except I guess like you can run away from people in PvP, but you gotta make it like slow in PvP or something, I feel like. I climbed the wall. One last thing, you can fly by holding jump in the air. Boom. The flying in this game is really clean. It reminds me of Holy Wars flying. Let's go through the speed circles. I don't think these work anymore, but the owner told me they're gonna be for like races and stuff. Tutorial complete after using uh, press XD, you'll be teleported to your races territory. Oh, so I guess whatever race you pick determines where you spawn at as well. It might not actually do that right now. I'm assuming for now it doesn't do that, but later on your spawn point will be determined by your race. How do y'all feel about that? Because that means if you wanna play with your friends, you gotta have to pick the same race I'll spawn or if you want to like start with them now some of the next gameplay i'm gonna show you guys is actually filmed underwater like you might be confused what i mean by underwater but i mean for some reason the map was literally underwater now he told me this was a bug i don't know what type of bug makes the whole map like under an ocean and i was planning on just re-recording it but you can actually only get your class from the blacksmith once so i just had to use this footage but just so you know that's why it kind of looks like misty because i'm literally underwater i didn't even realize it at first see they have a compass to get to the blacksmith but it doesn't look like the compass works um hopefully that will be fixed or scripted because i don't think it's even scripted in yet i think we're going the right direction i think it's at uh the yellow dots and i believe we're gonna be able to pick our class interact ah welcome traveler i'm torn iron hand here you have the freedom to forge any class you desire uh where your clothes go um torn the iron hand they ain't got clothes for you i'm here to help shape your destiny let's get to work Okay, so he told me that the coolest clan is the Scythe clan. So that's what we're gonna pick. Oh, there's a bunch of clans I should have probably showed you for longer. There's like Bicento clan, bow and arrow clan, or class, not clan, I don't know why I'm saying that. There's a, like, I think 12 different classes yet, but I don't know if they're fully done yet. Okay, so I'm in Salamander Town and I wanna show you guys the Scythe along with the fire skills. So first we got the Scythe, we got the dash attack. Okay, that did not work. Let me shoot the crit. The crit's like a double hit like that, it's pretty cool. Then you got the dash attack, which is that little like purple slash. As you can see, you can also see the health bars I'm just noticing right now, which is uh, pretty cool, especially for mobs. I get like not having it for PvP, uh, cause like, you know, if you can see people's health bars in PvP, you can just like jump them when they're low. Uh, like you're just running by a player, you see they're low, you can just go kill them. But uh, let me show you guys the flame skills as well. So here's Inferno Pillar. It looks good, but it doesn't look like, it doesn't look like it's fully working. Like it looks a little weird. I don't know what's up with it. Then you got Scorching Shot, which is that little aiming like, auto tracking arrow then you got flame charge and this one is like the weirdest one in my opinion i don't really think it works i'm not gonna lie inferno pillar i like like it looks a little weird forging shot pretty cool flame charge i don't really know what's up with it i'm not gonna lie okay so i'm currently going to the hardest boss in the game which is the anubis boss or i think it's a mini boss i'm not gonna lie a lot of these animals and anubis himself i don't know why these are in the game because they're not from sort of online i'm 99 percent sure i watch sort of online but as long as they do include like actual sort of online stuff as well i don't really care but uh it doesn't seem like they're sticking to canon too much okay we're gonna start by using this flame scourge okay he's aggro that's him with flame charge yeah you don't know about that Oh my god, why is he beating my ass like that? Inferno pillar, back up. What is going on? Yo, like for some reason I feel hella laggy. I only have 30 ping. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I'm about to die to him because the game feels super laggy for some reason, even though I only have 30 ping. So I don't really know what's up with that. It's still kind of playable, but I'm not gonna lie, it low-key, high-key feels worse than when I played it two months ago. So I'm not sure what's good with that. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, he is not dying. He has like infinite health and I'm lagging. Oh no, womp womp. But I'm not gonna lie, after playing the game again, I definitely understand why they delayed it. Like the game still definitely has potential but there honestly was barely anything different since i played it like two three months ago and for some reason the whole game was super laggy the first time i tried to hop on i was literally under the ocean but with that being said they're giving away a hundred
500 tester spots on their discord which i'll link below and i'm pretty sure i'm allowed to give away five on this video so if you guys want to enter that just like the video subscribe and comment your discord and obviously be in the discord for the game but i want to genuinely let you guys know i appreciate you guys for watching the videos it actually does a lot you're benefiting a real life person when you guys do that like subscribe all that so i appreciate it thank y'all love y'all later